the, the better that you'll be able to play the class as well. So, so but but it's no yeah, problem, man. That would be good. <laughs> yeah, but but everybody knows on Friday. I mean, early Friday morning. Uh, you know, I I announced everybody, and and usually people show up five minutes before the game, and and, and or half an hour before the game starts, and you know, and they want to play, which is no problem. I have no problem with that. But the earlier you get here, you know, the the more you'll 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 learn about that character. So I'm I'm really not worried about like level one and level three stuff, but but for higher level stuff is pretty much what I'm referring to. So, but yeah, it's no problem. Uh, but as to get back to your your damage, that that's how it's going to work. You're just going to add uh, when you go into a rage, you just add an additional plus four damage. So you roll your damage, add your strength modifier on there, and then after that, just add another four. Pretty but nice I, little bonus. But, uh, but I then I pick some uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, features, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, then I add them. Those rage damage, but uh, depending on what uh, I pick, am I right? Uh, what do you mean by what you pick? Uh, if I if I pick rage, for example, and then uh, shall I uh, pick something like extra attack and path feature or something like that? Oh, the the, the path features have already been chosen. The 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 path uh, yeah, features are I, in the. I, yeah. Yeah, it, it, like you have the the path feature of Cougar, which gives you an extra five feet around movement, uh, and it also gives you the acrobatic skill. So that that feature's already been taken for you, and then also uh, uh, the bear has been taken for you because you get another totem, which uh, it, it actually basically means when you enter a rage. Uh, you can expend two of your hit dice to regain hit points. So what that means is you get one one d two hit points per hit die heal, basically out of combat. But ever whenever you enter a rage, it's sort of like a free heal that you can do to yourself. So uh, that's it's kind of cool. I mean, it's really not gonna. It, it'll help you now because you have taken taken damage actually. So if you do rage, then uh, your your spirit rage will actually heal you up. Uh, 2d12 so but that that's how that works but but all of the the features and everything have already been chosen for these characters i i i chose everything already for the characters yeah um well i'm enraging of course okay. uh, so Does the spirit rage actually take your action? No. Say the the if he wants to rage, no. We'll just say he can rage. So he gets to roll two hits to regain hit points. Correct. He will get to roll once he goes into a rage state. Then yes, he gets to to roll two d twelve for his hit points back, because that is part of his uh his path feature. Yeah, I just didn't know if it took an action or not. No. No, you just declare you're raging, and and that's pretty much it. So, y yeah. Uh, it lasts for one minute. Can I so. declare that I uh, rage and then uh, make an attack roll? Okay. Yep. Yep. So add your. Uh, be sure to add all of your, you know, your pos. I think you're what plus eight or plus nine to hit, some pretty good amount. So. And then also, you actually, now that you've raged, 11 to hit. yeah. Go ahead. Now that you've raged, go ahead and give me a 2d12 roll, so we can get your hit points healed up for entering rage. 2d10. Uh, barbarians get 1d12 hit points per level. They get 1d12. So, uh, yeah, 2d12 would be the roll for you. Nice roll. Yeah, very nice roll. You get uh, 21 back. So uh, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll add it back for you. So you're at 230 out of 260 now. So you're in good shape. 
All right, and nice. now uh, that was for your rage bonus, and go ahead and make your attack uh, versus an AC of 16. And remember, you, you probably get multiple attacks as well, so uh, Crow, you missed your multiple attacks last round, because I, I, just remember, you get multiple attacks, man, as a monk. You get offhand, secondary, and then uh, other attacks as well. So I just I just wanted to see if you were gonna utilize it and uh, you didn't so no big deal you can do it next next round. Uh, also just so you know barbarian when you rage you get fourteen additional hit points uh, for sixty seconds for ten rounds that uh, that's sort of like just rage hit points that disappear and you don't get them back. Okay, but okay so it's. Uh... What is it, 14? No? Yeah, so isn't the next time you get hit, take 14 off of your damage to your total hit. Okay. Uh, that's a bonus level 1 proficiency. Yeah, exactly, I saw that one. And you get 2 attacks per round. When I... When Thanks, roll, Valkyr uh, Slayer, I for the... Armor. I appreciate the uh, follow, mm -hmm. Valkyr Slayer. Thank you. So you're it's whatever. Just, uh, a, D20 plus 10. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's a ranger. You're D20 plus 11. Okay, then I understand. Yeah, all of you, all of your uh, your bonuses are basically towards the top of the the character sheet. Yeah, the uh, the mall of necrotic touch. So you hit with a 30, probably. Yeah. Very nice roll. roll. A second attack as well. Yep. Uh, does that uh, take any from the hit points? Or the hits? Your, yeah, go ahead and roll damage for your, your first attack. Which is going to be 2d6 plus 1d4 plus 10. Yeah, barbarians do uh, quite a bit of damage. So, but yeah, just uh, as a little forewarning to you guys in the stream, if you guys are wanting to play one shots, you know the 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 roster of the game is posted on Friday, so you have two and a half days to basically get with me on getting the uh, site address to get into the game, all the team speak information, and to pick a class. So. Uh, the you know the earlier you choose your class the the more that you can actually learn about the class which is no big deal i mean we all got to learn so all right so we're going to roll your damage all right so what you, what you need to do is oh sorry it didn't, it, <laughs> what happened all yeah right. it never happened yeah it never happened <laughs> yeah we're waiting for the damage for your first attack So it was one two d six plus one d four plus ten. Uh, we have really we, we have no clue yet. Uh, plus one hit Maka, we have no one. clue. It's in the the final play test. So uh, if you don't have the final play nice. test now, I would get it so before they take it down. You get a second attack. And you can scroll down and click on the D and D link and go straight to the playtest login. And you can just, uh, if you haven't registered yet with the Wizards website, you can do it. it. Takes about a minute, and you get a the free game, which has about thirty to forty PDFs. So, so you hit with a twenty-five, probably. That's yes. a hit. Hit AC sixteen. Okay, thanks. And now you do your damage again, which is another 19 damage. Very nice. Uh, how many times can I do? Uh, you should just get 
uh, two attacks, if I'm not mistaken, because you get yeah every yeah, round. Things are yeah, every every round you get two attacks. So yeah, that's it. That's a fifth level proficiency. Yep, extra attack. All right, so you are right. are done, and now we're up to the ranger. Oh, how exciting! Ranger moves forward up to the back of the monk, and I'm going to touch him, and I'm going to put protection from energy. Uh, spell on him, which is a third level ranger spell, which my touch a willing creature and choose one damage type acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder. The target has resistance to that damage type for the duration, which is a uh, concentration up to an hour. So the silent spell is gone. Alrighty. And my movement is 30 feet, and let me just quickly check. That's 23 feet, uh, so I can move another 7 feet, correct? Yep. Hey. I'm going to move there. And that would be the end of my turn. Alright. And now the cleric's up. Okay, so I'm gonna move here since I can't really control my character anymore. Do it for me. Yeah. This pillar. Just ping. Okay, okay, got it. There you go. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna move there, and I'm gonna channel divinity, uh, positive energy. It's uh, 48 heal onto the monk. All right. And you get back. Okay. 20 hit points. And that will end my turn. Are you going to add your 20 hit points or do you need me to add them back for you? I added them. Okay, alright, very good. Ah, there you go, your bar went up. Alright, so now the... Ranger will be right back. Okay. The Ballers are up, and now that you are within range, uh, the Barbarian is going to take 66 fire damage for being within 5 feet. You are going to take 19 fire damage. So go ahead and take 19 off your... Alright. And now he is going to attack you with his weapon. User disconnected from your channel. Which is uh, two long sword attacks. And the long sword is a plus 8 to hit and you have a 16 armor class so the first attack is a miss of a 10 the wow the second attack is also a miss as well wow that's a uh, two bad rolls you got you got pretty lucky there and now his yeah. final final attack is the whip attack barbarian don't get punched in the face uh, i don't want to and the whip actually hits you with a with a 16. So you are going to take a total of uh, we're going to add up all of the d6s together so including the slashing damage from the whip and the fire damage it's 66 plus 8. And that is an additional 32 damage. And wh where's our, where's our, uh, you know, we need to get the, the druid in there. The druid has not had a uh, turn yet on it. That's right, because, uh, Mech, are you still there? Uh, that's why he, he got dropped from the counter, because he is not in the game. Yeah, it looks like he's... Alright, so the, the druid is is gone. So uh, the Baylor's whip is a 66 as well? Yeah, it's 2d6 plus 8 slash plus 4d6 fire, so a total of 66. Uh -huh. so. Alright, so it looks like our 
our druid's gone. I'm gonna put him to the side. So actually, that just made things uh, a lot worse for you guys. In fact, uh, I will probably no. I'm not gonna. I can't play the druid. I got too much stuff going on with two valors. So. All right. But that is the first Balor. Now the second Balor is going to. One second. The Balor is going to rotate around, stay within your five feet. <laughs> he is still here, but for some reason he isn't in Kingspeak anymore. I don't even see him in the in the game. I only see myself and and you five. I don't even see him in the in the game. Never mind. I'm seeing stuff. All right, so he is going to attack the monk twice with the great sword that he has well I'm sorry the the long sword is that the regular long sword regular long sword no that, he has okay. a two-handed sword strapped to his back and I'm I'm sure you guys know what the two-handed sword is strapped on his back so the first attack is a uh, wow actually a miss it's a 13 and the second attack is a 15 which is also a miss and now he is going to turn to the cleric and lash out at you with his whip and your armor class is 16 as well and he hits with a 17 and now you are pulled to him and you need to make a a saving throw a, well, not a save throw, but a strength check. Yeah, it just got a lot harder now that we don't uh, have the druid. That's why I had two ballers in this encounter, is because you had both a cleric and a druid for heals, so... Well, can we just make him an auto-heal bot? <laughs> uh, I'll... I yeah, can I'll, try to run Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll both fly him, so... Okay, I'll start looking and seeing what the hell he's got. Yeah, those those attack rolls are pretty uh, pretty shitty, aren't they, Condor? All right, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and say my strength check probably did not pass. Uh, no, it didn't. So you are still uh, in the whips, tangled up with a whip, and now I'm going to give you and the monk some damage. You have to take. Uh, actually, did you take fire? Da you didn't take fire damage already, did you, Crow? No, I don't. I, the have no, I haven't. From fire. Okay. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna do some 66 fire damage for you, Mr. Cleric. Oh, he. And that is on a cleric. 22 fire damage, and now I'm going to do a a 66 attack damage with the whip and you'll take another additional 34 whip damage between slash damage from the whip and an additional uh, 46 from fire damage on the whip so I'll go ahead and I will uh, I can adjust your hit points for you. Yeah, because for some reason I still can't control that guy. Yeah, it's no problem. I, I don't know why. It's that's weird. I don't either. I mean, I could try leaving and rejoining, but all right, I got you. I got you set up. So, all right, and now that is the second attack of the the Balor. All right, and now. Crow, you're up with the monk now. Okay. Yeah, X Mac, you're you're not even in the game, bud. Yeah, I'm gonna move behind him and I'm gonna punch him in the back. 
First one is a miss. Second, his is his AC is sixteen, right? You haven't, yeah, you haven't been in the game for some time, so. Yeah. AC is sixteen. Okay. Or are you still in the game, or are you not in the game? It's a armor class of sixteen. So you hit with the uh, the second hit was what your offhand attack. Yes, but I oh. don't put a um, modifier on it. Okay, you did damage with your second attack. Okay, those are my first attack. Join now, man. Uh, Oh, okay, never mind there. Uh, dust. Hold on, I want to see if x -Mech can get back in here. Okay, so. that was my first go. Alright, so your second attack, or, okay, you got two 1d12 attacks there. What's going on? Your, your first, okay, your first attack was a, a 10 plus your modifiers, which that would be a hit. Your second attack is a hit. So what are, what are your modifiers of your, what kind of damage are you? Your plus nine damage? Uh, I that's hit. I just confused myself there. I'm sorry. All it's right. more of the nineteen. Because I was I was attempting to do my second set of attacks, but I just totally remembered I just attacked twice. All right. So your first damage roll is a four. Your damage bot. Your damage bonus modifier is plus four. So your first. Yes. Your first hit did 8 damage. Your second was a 10 plus 4, so 14. Yep. Alright. Now, that was your primary and secondary attack, correct? Um, yes. Okay, well you get a second attack now as well, because you are a monk. Monks get m multiple attacks around. And you get that at uh, I rolled 19 five or something like that, six or and remember you got your key points to spend and everything else too. So uh, you've got other other types of attacks you can spend your key points on. Don't I have one an attack where I can knock them prone? I have to find that. All right, so we'll go ahead and you, you got your second attack. Yeah. All right. What's a domain spell? Sorry. Domain spells are for like clerics and paladins and, and other classes and that actually, yeah, and druids. They, depending on what oath or path, whatever they choose, domain spells are basically free memorization spells. And okay, and they still take an action to cast them. Correct. Oh yeah, they okay. they just don't they just don't eat up one of your uh, daily memorization slots. Okay, the, I just didn't know if you were able to ever cast two spells in the round. <laughs> no, no. Even okay. if you do a swift cast, like a healing word or something, uh, you can still only cast once around. Okay. Unless you have a feat or something that can that, act, that can actually make you cast two things. Like I know uh, the bard at a higher level can actually cast a spell and still get an attack. But I think that's the rare exception. Okay. All right, so what's your damage there? Six? Yeah. All right. All right, so now uh, you're up, Tanaka, your mage. Kind of look over those key points too, man. I am going to cast Evoed Black Tentacles on. So I guess the head's like slip. Thank you. That guy. Well, on that spot. Sorry, not that guy. That spot. Which one? And Left or right? Does, or where? Ping it on the I'm, map again? Yeah, I'm, 
I'm casting Evo to Black Tentacles right here. Now, what that does is it creates a set of, of a, uh, a squirm, it creates squirming ebony tentacles that appear within a 24 radius centered on where I pinged. Uh, any creature except for except for the two, I'm, except for the guys I'm, except for the group, so I'm, I'm accepting, uh, exempting us from this. Uh, that start to turn within there, have to make a dex check of a 3d6. But, uh, no, sorry, they have to make a dex check, which takes 3d6 bludgeoning damage. And if they fa if they fail the roll, they are restrained. Mm -hmm. so I'm trying to go slowly so I don't Plus Sorry, man. Take your time. Okay, um... So... And it's a 20 foot uh, radius, right? Evard's yes. Black Tentacles? Alright. Mm -hmm. and, and you're wanting to cast it where? Right here? You said right here? Uh, right... Okay. The basil's going to so right basically, the right where the, uh... Right where yeah. the, uh, the Balor is. Okay, that's cool. Yep. So you're going to cast that, yeah. and it's a 20 foot radius. Uh, now I have to make a dex saving throw, and you have a plus five modifier, so I need uh, to roll a thirteen. No, no. Uh, you don't make the throw, the throw until they start their turn. Well, it, well, seeing that you're casting it on it, he's going to yeah. uh, he's within the area already. <laughs> So he's going to, you know, be susceptible to taking three d six bludgeoning damage from the actual okay. tentacles coming up. So, yeah, uh, go ahead and roll your three d six damage right now, and I'll do my dexterity saving throw. He will take nine damage if he fails. And and uh, dexterity is a plus five, so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Actually, he uh, failed the deck saving throw with a 12. You have a 13, so I had to hit a 13. I failed, so I take the the full nine damage from the tentacles. And, and he's now restrained. Yep, he is restrained. He is uh, restrained actually. And then next round, uh, he will uh, take another 3d6 if I'm not mistaken. And then he has to break out with a strength check or something, right? I believe. Um, Again, I actually moved off. Of it. Um, he has to make a strength check against the spell's DC. If he succeeds, he's free. Um, and every turn he has to make a dex check when he starts. Okay. All right. Definitely do that next round. Um, and if and if he fails, he takes damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. You want any movement? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna make a little movement. I'm going to hide behind this pillar. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm the squishiest of the squishy team. You are. Alright, now you are up, Mr. Barbarian. Yeah, uh, do I, I, I don't need to enrage again, don't I? No, you're already, you're already raging. Still, yeah. Are you able to get back in, x -Mac? But, uh, can I get that heal again, or is that one timer? No, that's just a that's just a one time thing because whenever you okay. whenever you rage you you know that's when you get the heal so no yeah. he, why would it give him an option to have six rages uh, because you can rage at multiple times between rest so whenever, you couldn't rage again right now uh, well if he if I'm not mistaken it would take him two rounds I think to uh, to get out of rage. To get right, yeah, to get out of rage. Okay. Yeah, let me double check on this real quick. Yeah, I just noticed it just has that he has six rages at that level. So. Well, that's in case you know you have six different combats during the day, so. He, you know, he he's not ah. gonna stay rage for a, you know a 24-hour period until, you know, until he takes a long rest. So, and plus the the rage only lasts for one minute anyway. So,
Yeah, I don't think I can do much more than uh, whack.